this is Zulai Gabi Di Charun, C into 0103. I will present part introductions. In planning of design, the bridge for a project, it is important to recognize the design. Design is a process of creating the description of a new bridge to make it more safety and faster way. For this project, Pairaji is a small town that gradually grew into a city. With increasing populations, many residential houses are built in the vicinity of Pairaja. Our objective is identify five major components of bridge and to provide higher safety priority to the passengers. The bridge style that our choose group choose is Pony Trees Bridge. And other than that, column structure that we use is cement mixed gravel abutment in is necessary to assess the deformation and displacement of the constant structure. Next, truss bridge are these by their entire inconnected triangular structures. And in structural engineering, deflection also refers to the movement of a beam or node from its original position due to force and stress applied to the member. In free body diagram, we are going to focus on a specific class of truss bridge which is Pratt truss. The reason why the shape is so useful for building bridge is that it is placed under stress. The tensions or compression create makes the fact that when structure stronger. A force applied to the truss structure will only produce compressions or tensions on the elements. Two joints method determine forces at the truss joints or nodes in free body diagram. Furthermore, in free body diagram, the tension of compression forces direction are parallel to the element and any force on a truss element is transmitted to its end. Other than that, the truss structures in equilibrium means that every joints or nodes in at equilibrium and once determine the value of a tension or compression force at one of the end of an element. The complementary force at, at the other end of the element will be equal but in opposite directions. Assalamu alaikum doctor. My name is Ainin Sofia and I will explain design concept. This is the main component for our bridge design. This is the first draft and the second draft that includes all the main components. As you can see, this is a top elevation for our official design. This is the side elevation. And the last one is the front elevation and back elevation that includes all the main components of the bridges that is also from the rough sketches. Hello, doctor. And next, we will move on to methodology. For the first step, we do is identify the problem. To fill up this action, we search a lot of materials, journals, books, and theses. Furthermore, we also did site visit and study the location. And for the next process, we design related problems, impact of buildability, and buildability guideline. For this process, we did material investigation for the next process detailed project report of bridge construction planning for this method we found a project manager and discussed with him our de project design and for the next step testing and evaluation if there is no issues on our bridge we started to demolition for the bridge if there is any problem we we will strengthen and repair the bridge and the final step is we did update the maintenance now, we will present analysis for the bridge design. Our parameters and assumption includes I-beams and column support with same materials but different designation section. In our free body diagram, firstly, we calculate total load, which is 5 kN per meter. After that, we calculate total force, which is we take the value of total load Multiply by the overall length of the bridge, which is 5 kN per meter, multiply by 2.5, and then we have total force is 12.5 kN. Then we calculate for force VA as well as force VE. Meanwhile, force HA is 0 kN. Good morning, doctor. My name is Cole Servant, son of Tamil Selvan, and now I'm going to explain about the SFT and BMD diagram. 
First, we have divided the beam section into two parts from A to I1 and I to B another one. And then we calculated and got the moment equation as 6.25x minus 2.5x square kilonewton meter. And then we replaced the value of x values into the equation and we got the maximum anti moment as 3.9063 for both beam sections, which has occurred at 1.25 meter at the middle of the beam section. And then we did the SFT and BMD diagram. Okay, now I'm going to explain about the beam analysis. The type of beam we choose is I beam, and the width of edge of the beam is, is the following. And then we divided the beam into three parts, one, two, and three. And then we calculated the area for each part, and then we got the total area of 7,001.16. Then we calculated y value for each part and x value for each part. Then we multiplied area with the y values, and we got the total as 1181.79. Then we multiplied area with the x values. And then we got the total of AX as 602.79. And then we calculated the X bar as the following, and we got the X bar as 86.1. And then we got the Y bar as 168.8. And then we calculated the moment of inertia for each part by applying the formula bread times H cube divided by 12. And then we calculated the value of D for each part by subtracting the value of Y values of each part with the Y bar, which we calculated just now, which is 168.8. Then we multiplied area with the value of d square then we added up the moment of inertia values that we calculated just now with the a d square values and then we got the moment of inertia of x axis as 138.421 times 10 power of 6 millimeter power of 4 same goes to y axis but the formula for moment of inertia for y axis is b cube h divided by 12. by comparison the greatest moment of inertia is the value of second moment of inertia of x axis which is 1.38421 times 10 power of negative 4 meter power of 4 from neutral axis to extreme edge of member is same as y bar which is 168.8 millimeter and then we converted the value to meter and got 0 0.1688 meter and then we calculated maximum bending stress by applying the formula maximum bending moment multiplied with y bar over greatest moment of inertia and then we got the maximum bending stress as 4763.61 kN per meter square and then we calculated the required section modulus by dividing maximum bending moment with allowable stress and we got the required section modulus as 4.3597 times 10 power of negative 6 meter cube and then we calculated section modulus for x axis by applying this formula and we got the section modulus for x axis as 0.82 times 10 power of negative 3 meter cube and then we calculated section modulus for y axis by applying this formula and we got the value as 1.2866 times 10 power of negative 4 meter cube by comparison the value of section modulus of x axis and y values are bigger than the required section modulus that we calculated Next part is deflection of the beam. The boundary conditions are as this following. And then we calculate the reaction of support. And by cutting the beam at last segment of B, we get the beam's movement as 6.25x minus 2.5x square. And then we calculate the bending movement at deflection formula equation, which is elastic modulus times inertia times t square over y over dx square. Then we add the equation like this. And then we calculate the slope deflection by integrating this equation. And we got the equation like this. And then we calculate the deflection by integrating the slope deflection equation and then we solve the equation by using the boundary conditions by using the macaulay function the first statement said that, that it at x equals to zero and y equals to zero by calculating we got the value of c2 as zero the second statement is at x equals to 2.5 and y equals to zero and we got the value of c1 as negative 3.2552 and by substituting the value of c1 and c2 that we calculated just now we got the final equation as this and we determined the deflection of beam at x equals to 1.25 meter from a by replacing value of e i and the value of x into the formula and we got the value of y x negative 9.186 times 10 power of negative 5 meter and then we determined the slope at x equal to 1.25 meter from a and we got the radian as 0 and then we determined the slope at point a when x equal to 0 and we got the radian as negative 1.176 times 10 power of negative 4 radian and we calculated the allowable beam deflection as the following formula and we got as the final answer 0 0.803 times 10 power of negative 5. The allowable beam deflection is less than the limited beam deflection, which is 5 times 10 power of negative 3. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. For column support, we analyze using limitation of Euler's theory, while our column support section design is pin ended. Firstly, we calculate for moment of inertia. After that, we calculate formula for x bar and y bar. After we have the value for x bar and y bar, we put into the table to calculate ixx and to another table to calculate iyy. After we have both value of iyy and ixx, 
we pick the lowest value, which is in this case, it is IYY. After that, we calculate Euler's theory using this formula. And then after, after that, we have the value for U critical stress. In the Euler's uh, equation, critical yield stress must be smaller than the yield stress of steel, which is 250 megapascal. So, our critical yield stress is smaller than the yield stress of steel. That means the stress does not exceed the yield stress and the application of Euler's equation is appropriate for this column support. My metric agent number A and 2003A. I will explain how to determine the vein stress. So, firstly, we define the criteria for the structure. M is a num number of members. In this bridge, we have 29, 29 number of members. Let's count with me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So we have value of M is 29 and R is number of reaction. We have three number of reaction. We have two reaction in pin support and one for roller support. Total we have three reaction. J is number of joint. We have 16 number of joints in this case. So we use the formula M plus R equal to 2J. And we got the same value that is 32. That means this bridge statically determined. After, after that, we find the value of joint A. We assume that sum of FY up, FY up equal to FY down. We have two forces that FAB and and 6.25 we use 43 degree as our angle to 6.25 plus fab sine 43 equal to zero and we will got the value of fab that is negative 9.16 kilonewton after we find fab we can find the value of fac same with before this but we use sum of x two force involved in in this, that is FAC and FAB. We already know the value of FAB, right? So we insert the value and we will got FAC is 6.70 kN. <coughs> this is example of joint B. We use same way, like before this we do. FBC we got 6.25 kN. FBE we got negative 8.84 kN and FBD we got 6.25 kN. Total we have 11 joint involved and all the calculation we already, we already put in our report. After calculate all the calculation, we can check our calculation. We can use balance checking. Pick any of joint and make sure the value are same. We choose point at I and the value are equal to zero. And this is all value support joint. So next, cost of analysis. We have seven main components of bridge that we total up. Firstly, prep trust and the value, the value is 510 uh, ringgit nature. Next, deck, deck that the item quite expensive. We have two support that pin and roller support. We also have other item and total cost after we calcul calculate is nine. 95,511 in Good Nature. So I think that's all from me. Thank you. We go to the next slide. For next, we will go for the discussion. Discussion. In our analysis, steel I-beam section modulus, which is a measure of the flexural strength of them, shows that the value of section is bigger than the other value. Moreover, this indicates that bending a steel section that has a larger section modulus than the another will be stronger and harder to bend. For the column support, 
is using Euler-Euler theory for analysis that state as the length increases, the allowable load decreases. From, from our analysis, it can be seen that the column support stress does not, does not exceed the yield stress. There is some advantage and disadvantage for steel I-beam. For advantage is more beneficial to a construction project as for high strength construction component using fever components and impressive and the use of fever components result. And for the disadvantage is, is rusting is one of the unfortunate property of steel I-beams is inability to retain moisture and consideration. Moreover, when compared to wood beams, steel beams are much heavier. Admittedly, the higher the weight of the building material, the more difficult it is work. To conclude, the proposed bridge design had curb and minimized congested, allowing more than one car to pass through and also managed to support loads of different vehicles as well as has fulfilled the analysis requirement and in hope to be executed once approved. That is all from our group and together we're bridging the difference.